Hey there, it's Linda. And I'm so thrilled that I finished my first half of 2024 in my Project Life album. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I wanna start this by saying I have process videos for almost every single spread, if not every single spread in here on this channel. So if you want more information about any of them, you can go ahead over to those process videos. I have a playlist of all of them, so you can watch them in order or find a specific one. This album is a nine by 12 album from scrapbook.com. And I made this here just using some stamps. I have a similar one I made for the second half of the year. So this holds January through June and you can see it's pretty chunky. I have weekly spreads in here plus some inserts. So let's go ahead and flip through. So I started this out with a title page here uh, using the January Stories by the Month kit. And I just have a photo of me and Pumpkin because starting out 2024, I lived alone. I'm no longer putting my daughter on my cover page because she doesn't live at home anymore, even though she's still part of my story. And I'm not putting my boyfriend on here at this point. Um, just he wasn't living with me. So I don't know what, what I'll do for 2025 yet, but that's just why I have it like this. Okay, so for week one, oh hi pumpkin. So for week one, I'm using, I use the January stories by the month also. And I use these for one weekly spread all throughout the album. I did use it here as well for the, my title page, but because these kits are so jam packed, I can do multiple spreads with them, but I tend to do only one just because I have so many other products that I want to use. Um, I did have this see-through element here with the 2024 and then I have this card that has the January looks like this and I use that for ephemera and I did that once a month. These kits have some repeated elements. They always have a title card like this so I use that every month and they have a calendar card. I use that. Some of the other ones that are repeated like this one and this one I didn't use consistently. Sorry my cat is rubbing up against the camera. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> for the second week, I use the start story kit. So I also use story kits in here a lot. And these I tend to plan out in advance in my story kit planning lessons that you can find in the story kit classroom. And this one's using the start story kit. So you can see the whole spread like that. I also have an insert in here, which was using the start story kit. So I do a lot of inserts in this album. My cat is being really annoying right now. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I do a lot of inserts in these albums that are just story kit themes most likely. Sometimes I use some other products in them, but they're typically stories that were prompted by the story kit. And when I plan out my story kits, I'm always using thinking of using them in a weekly spread, but I'm also considering stories that I wanna tell separate from Project Life. If those stories happen to be of the type that are timely to Project Life, so the, the time frame that I'm putting in here, and they are general enough where they're not like deep journaling, I like to include them in Project Life. I also never go larger than eight and a half by 11 in here as an insert so that it can always be sandwiched between the nine by 12 pages. So this one was talking about the product projects that I was starting. So I have my media journal, my planner, my mini me story album and my daily journal. Of course, I was also starting Project Life, but I considered actually including it and decided that that seemed a bit too much. This again is using a story kit. So this is the saver story kit. So for the story kits, I don't always use them in the month they come out. I tend to pick a week that works for that theme. So this one being start, start is a very general theme, especially for like the beginning of the year. So it was perfect for that. Saver is a little more specific. So I tried to find a week that had some stuff to savor in it. So I had like a coffee photo. I had some like cozy things. I had my some new furniture, time with my daughter. So it's different stories that felt like I could really use this theme. Here's one using a Coco Daisy kit. So most of my spreads are either Allie Edwards or Coco Daisy products. And I tend to use a kit for nearly every single spread. I don't always use a kit. I do some like stash busting ones. And I think I wanna try to do that a bit more for the second half of the year, but 
for this album specifically, I primarily used those two brands. Here was another layout I did. This was prompted by the Saver Story Kit because this was from the Saver Story Kit and I wanted to journal about like savoring the current phase I was in of like redoing my living room and what it looked like at this specific time. But I ended up pulling a lot of products from my stash. A lot of this like washi tape and then this was from one of the quarterly scrapbook kits and some older word phrase strips. Here's another one from the Saver Story Kit. Here, moving into February, uh, this is using some products from Coco Daisy, and this is kind of like a kit crush. So basically, because I'm on the creative team for Coco Daisy, their kits do have like monthly themes, but my projects have to be done before that month happens. So like this is the February theme kit. I need to complete all my February projects in January. So I had already used the kit somewhere else, and I didn't necessarily use it in here because like February theme stuff I didn't want to use in like January or whenever it was that I was doing those projects. So I saved the cards that were specifically January or February themed. So there was this, they always have the calendar one, this one right here that had like the 24 on it specifically. And then this was a calendar one. This is more that same card. This is February, 2024. And I used those as a jumping off point for the spread and then pulled stuff from my stash. And so that was a good way to use the dated pieces of that kit and make sure that they came into my album and also do some stash busting. And for this spread, even though I'm using supplies from all over the place, I tried to stick with like this pink color scheme, which really helped it uh, tie together. Here's some other inserts. This was the Saver Story Kit, and this is the Birthday Story Kit. And then here I went to St. Lucia, so this was a travel spread. Um, when I do travel, I tend to adjust my dates to match my travel, and you'll see that again in my next album for the second half of the year because I am traveling a lot. I am adjusting it to match the dates that fit with my trip rather than calendar weeks. This one I used the uh, quarterly scrapbook kit I think it's called punctuation and so I was able to do like some longer journaling on these two cards and then just add a ton of photos now moving into the February stories by the month so this kit this one I think is probably my least favorite spread in this entire album I didn't have a ton of photos I wanted to use a more product so I just had a lot of like filler which is a bit much for me like these are all filler cards that like I don't normally do that much filler. I And I also struggled with this one because I wasn't yet in the routine of like keeping ephemera. But now I am and I feel really good about it. This one I was using, this was like a frames add-on I had. And so I used that as a jumping off point and pulled pieces from the January stories by the month that I had still in my stash to kind of use some of them up. The story by the month kits this year are packed. I feel like you could do four weekly spreads just with that kit and not use any other products. So I'm trying to find ways to fit them in in some of the other spreads. Here's another one of the stash busting ones where I used a few cards from the March kit from Coco Daisy that were dated. And then I pulled and this one also. And then I pulled a few other things like these two and this one from my stash to get some stash busting done as well. This one was the punctuation scrapbook kit. There were these cards in it that just said right now and I wanted to just do a very basic page that focused more on words and photos. So I really love how this one came out. I added a few embellishments from the kit and this was a scrap of paper from the kit and just a few like things on them. But this one, I was able to do a lot more journaling and I like that balance with other spreads that don't have so much type journaling. This one is using the Coco Daisy kit and I think this is in March, but I believe this is the April kit. And then I have some inserts here. This is the Enjoy Story kit and Around Here Story kit, I think. This is the Around Here Story Kit for a week in here. 
And I love, love, love doing the story kits in Project Life. I love them giving like a different angle to my stories, but around here, of course, is a very general sentiment. It works really well for this type of project. Moving into the March stories by the month. So I really love how this one came out. I feel like I found my groove a bit more with the stories by the month by March. I had saved more things for my ephemera card and I had kind of found a good balance between supplies and photos. This was another one of those stash busting where I used the April cards from Coco Daisy. So you can see here I used the April kit here, but it was March, so I couldn't use like the April dated ones. So I saved them and put them here. And then I'm pulling in things, and I believe these were from, maybe these were from my stash. Or no, I think these were from a Studio Calico kit. So at some point, in addition to using the products from Coco Daisy that were for that month, I was pulling out old Studio Calico kits and using them, trying to use up some of those supplies. This again is a Coco Daisy kit. So this was the May kit from Coco Daisy. I really, really love how these came out. The April stories by the month. And then an insert here. This was the start story kit and enjoy. So like this, you can see like what types of stories I'm telling in these inserts. So this was about my laundry room redo, which is something that happened around this time frame. And then this was just about stuff I was enjoying this spring. Here, this page protector, so you can see I use kind of like three different page protectors. There's this one that has the two four by six. There's the one that has all three by fours. And then there's a, this one that has three four by sixes. And I pretty much just rotate between those but I wanted to do something different for the next week, this one. So this was the week of Week in the Life. And these were four by four cards from the daily quarterly scrapbook kit. So I decided to make my own page protectors by cutting down some 12 by 12 ones I had and stitching across here. And then I just added some vellum in these spots so that it would just finish off this spread and give me just like a different design to play around with. Here I'm working with another um, Coco Daisy kit. This was the June Coco Daisy kit and it was kind of travel themed because a lot of people travel in the summertime, but I took a trip this week um, from e the end of April into May, just like a road trip. I went to Toronto and Niagara Falls and I used this to document that. Now here again, I'm pulling out these pieces from Coco Daisy and mixing them with an older Studio Calico kit, just trying to use up some of those supplies. This one is from the Happy Story Kit and this is the Birthday Story Kit documenting. So this is like my daughter turned 19, not this week, but the next week. And so I just put this in here. Then this was the week of her birthday, so I used the birthday story kit. So the birthday story kit came out, I think, in like March. So this is just a good example of how I will make save the story kit for a week that works for it, as opposed to like making it work for any random week. So this one was the birthday story kit, so I actually had this birthday story for her birthday. And then some of these other sentiments and cards were very like more general. This is a Coco Daisy kit. This is, I want to say their July kit. I don't know, I can't remember which one it was, but this one I really loved. I love how this came out. And I took a trip to Brooklyn during this week for work. And I, this kit, because it's like summertime, has travel stuff, so it worked really well. The May stories by the month. Again, you can see me doing my ephemera card, my title card. And then I guess I didn't use the calendar one this month. I think sometimes they were putting like the repeated cards on vellum rather than on cardstock. And then I didn't want to use it because it didn't look as good. Here is another, this was a Coco Daisy kit. This was their August kit, but I'm using it here to document in June. Sometimes those kits work really well for that. So like, cause this had a lot of florals, which fit really well in June. But for me, where, where I live in August, we don't have any flowers anymore. So it actually worked really better in that month. 
This was a quick road trip I took to Lake Placid and I used the Enjoy Story Kit. And then here was a, another stash busting one. So again, using the pieces from the June kit from Coco Daisy that I had already used. And that was July. The June one was the travel one. So this was the June kit, but you know, this was back in April and May. But so I had saved that card. I didn't use the calendar one this time. I think I used the back of it for something else because those cards are double-sided. And then here I was crushing an older Studio Calico kit. The Studio Calico kits I'm working with, I believe are from maybe 2022, maybe 2021. They're older kits because I haven't subscribed in a few years. And then for the last week in here, I used the June Stories by the Month. I think this is maybe my favorite stories by the month spread. I just love how it turned out. I made this one work for me by turning it sideways. I may still put the calendar in, but stitched it down because it was on vellum. I made some of my own cards with some of the ephemera and here putting the ephemera on there. And then to wrap this spread up, I used the three things cards that came in the stories by the month kit to tell like three highlights of each month. And then I made these photos, like I, these are like a layered photo template that I just made in Photoshop to include one photo to highlight each month. So this is January, February, March, April, May, and June. And then these chipboard pieces were in my stash and I just purposely like looked in my stash to find some sort of chipboard that had three things that I could repeat. And this one worked perfectly because it just had one, two, and three. And um, this card here had come on vellum, so I just printed the digital so I could have it on cardstock as well because the vellum didn't look right and like to write on it and stuff. Um, but these ones, I, I really like how this came out. And now I'm going to take these three things cards from the second half of the year and store them so I can do something similar on the last page of the last half of the year. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this gave you a good look into my Project Life album as a whole. If you have more specific questions about any of the spreads, once again, I do have process videos for all of the spreads, not for the inserts, but for all of the spreads. The inserts have all pretty much been shared on my Instagram or will be shared on my Instagram. So hopefully you can see more details and photos over there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.